Hello everyone, hope you're enjoying all the great announcements and content here at Connect 2017. My name is Ayush and I'm a senior product manager on Visual Studio subscriptions at Microsoft. Visual Studio subscriptions were previously also known as MSDN subscriptions, in case you're more familiar with that term. For the rest of the video, I might refer to them as VS subscriptions. There are so many new Azure services and features you're coming across at Connect. I want to show you in the next few minutes how you can start playing around with them through the Azure credit that you already get through your VS subscription or your free Dev Essentials membership. So I know your time is precious, so thanks a lot for watching this video. Since not everything we talk about for the next few minutes may be of interest to you, I've divided the video into four sections. Number one, we'll briefly look at what Visual Studio subscriptions are and what they give you, especially in terms of Azure credit that you can use right away to start experimenting on everything you're learning at Connect. Even if you do already have a subscription, I highly recommend you spend a couple of minutes on this section because you may not be aware of all the great benefits you get as a subscriber. Number two, once you've had a chance to see what you get with the subscription, we'll take a look at what you can do with that dollar credit in Azure. This is one of the most common questions we get asked. Number three, we won't just stop at the what, but we'll actually walk through a real example of how you can use your Azure credit to quickly stand up a bot service and embed it anywhere you want. Number four, finally, in case you don't get have a subscription, we'll spend a few seconds to go over how to get one. With that, let's jump right in to the first chapter of this video. So I often visit conferences and industry trade shows and meet developers like you who have a VS subscription and often the most stunning realization they have when we talk is how their VS subscription actually includes a whole bunch of things they didn't quite know about. And that's why I want to give you some context before we talk more about Azure. We basically have three paid subscriptions in increasing order of their feature set. The Test Professional, which is great for testers, the VS Pro subscription for mid-sized software projects, and the VS Enterprise subscription that unlocks the advanced IDE features like IntelliTrace, CodeLens, and live unit testing. While all of these subscriptions give you the right to use one of the IDE versions, they also come with many other great benefits. For example, they give you access to learning platforms like Pluralsight, LinkedIn Learning, Linux Academy, DataCamp, and more. They also give you access to tools and services across our family, such as Visual Studio Team Services, or TFS, SQL Server, Windows 10, and IoT SDKs, and more. And finally, they give you access to Azure through monetary credits and dev test images. If you don't have any of these subscriptions, you can also get a slightly reduced but still great set of benefits through our uh, free program, which is called Dev Essentials. And in case you're wondering, wait, where do I see all these benefits if I have a subscription or Dev Essentials membership? Well, just log in to my.visualstudio.com and you can see all your benefits right there. And if you want to try Azure for some big project, you also get $1.200 credit on top of all of that for the first month. Also pretty cool. So now that you know what you get as a Visual Studio subscriber or Dev Essentials member, let's see what you can do in Azure with it. If you're looking for basic services like VMs and websites, your monthly Azure credit can go a long way. Here's just a sampling of services that you can consume in a month if you have Visual Studio Enterprise. While this may not be sufficient if you're running a full-scale production website, it's super handy to build MVPs to use as a dev test environment or just play around as you learn Azure through tutorials or documentation. But here's where it gets really cool. If you're starting to ramp up on cognitive services, bots, machine learning, or IoT, your Visual Studio subscription comes in super handy too. Azure has a bunch of easy to use cognitive services APIs for speech, face, text, analytics, and more that you can incorporate into your app. Since these services are built with models that have been trained with large data sets from Microsoft's research over the years, you don't need a data scientist or any prior statistics skills to make your apps more intelligent. Moving on to the next section, I want to show you how easy it is to use your Azure credit to stand up a bot from scratch and incorporate it anywhere you'd like. Think about this for a second. 
because we already have an Azure credit from the VS subscription, we don't have to worry about how we get the money to spin up the underlying resources a bot would need, like VM, networking, database, etc. Okay, so step one is for those of you who may not yet have redeemed the Azure credit, include it with your VS subscription. So go to my.visualstudio.com and make sure you log in with the same email ID that your subscription was assigned to. When you're in, you see an Azure tile. Go ahead and click on the activate link there and follow the new subscription creation process for Azure. Once you have an Azure account with a subscription that you created through my.visualstudio.com, you're ready to get started. So go to your Azure portal at portal.azure.com, find the new button on the top left, and search for bot services when the search dialog shows up. When you choose bot services, you'll be presented with the form that you see on the screen here. Choose an app name for your bot and make sure that you've selected your Visual Studio subscription so that you don't get charged. In this case, I'm also choosing the consumption plan in the hosting plan dropdown instead of the app service plan. I like the consumption plan because I can create a bot that runs as a serverless app using Azure Functions. This means that I don't have to worry about any of the underlying infrastructure and resources for the bot. It just scales on demand and resources are provisioned automatically as per its needs. When you're done with this form, click Create. Azure will start deploying your bot and pop up a confirmation notification when done in a few seconds. Click Go to Resource on the notification and you land into the template choice for the bot. I chose to create my bot in C Sharp and just basic echo functionality. Later on, I can bring my sources into Visual Studio and add all the smarts I need to. When you click next on this screen, Azure will provision a bot using your desired template. You will then be asked to provide an app ID and password for the bot, which you can create by registering your bot with Microsoft account. The steps here will be self-explanatory. Once you input the app ID and password that was generated for you after registering the bot, click Create Bot. You're almost done. Your bot is now ready, and you can now check out the source code for it and select the channels in which you want to deploy it. You can choose any channel you want, from Facebook Messenger, Slack, and Microsoft Teams, to websites and mobile apps. You can also test your bot with the test button. You can see here how the bot is correctly echoing my messages. Voila, there you have it, a fully functioning bot created at no cost with your Azure credit and spun up in just a few clicks. With that, we've come to our last chapter for the video. For all of you who are thinking of what to do and where to go if you don't already have a VS subscription. So before you begin thinking of purchasing your own subscription, please check with your employer. Companies typically buy a pool of VS subscriptions through Microsoft sellers, resellers, and partners. Your IT or software admin may be able to assign you a subscription if they already have such a pool. If that's not the case, the best place to start evaluating which subscriptions may be right for you and where to get it is the pricing page on visualstudio.com, which is also shown here. Purchasing the subscription is simple and quick. On the pricing page, you will find links to the marketplace where you can go and purchase your desired subscription. If you don't want to buy a subscription right now, but still want to experience some of the benefits you get as a subscriber, you can sign up for the free Visual Studio Dev Essentials program through visualstudio.com forward slash dev hyphen essentials. That's it, folks. It's your turn to go put all your new skills to practice. Please activate your Azure credit if you already have a VS subscription because you're leaving all that money on the table. And keep watching Channel 9 because there's a ton of great content and demos here at Connect. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave your questions and comments below this video and I'll try my best to answer them.